Welcome to another Aquasoft screencast. Today we're going to look at using the image strip effect. Although the effect works automatically just by adding photos, I want to show you a few ways to adjust it that could come in handy. You can freely add all of your photos, whether they're portrait or landscape without cropping, because the program automatically adjusts them. Drag the image strip effect out of the toolbox and into the timeline. Here you see a container in which you can add your photos. We'll add them directly from the file browser. Here we've set the fade into none so that the two effects don't overlap. Under properties, we can select the direction we want the photos to slide. They can move up, down, left, or right. For the next set of photos, I want to change the direction, so I add another image strip effect. Here we select a different direction for the photos to slide. Let's summarize what we've done so far. Drag an image strip effect from the toolbox to the timeline. Add photos and click on the container to select the entire effect. Now under properties, select the slide direction. Let's look at one more possibility when you want to combine multiple image strips with various slide directions. Drag a flexi collage into the timeline and then drag the image strip effect into the flexi collage. For the second flexi collage and on, then select the fade in alpha blending. Now there's a smoother transition between your image strips when changing the slide direction. Let's summarize one more time. Drag the flexi collage into the timeline and an image strip effect into the flexi collage. Apply the alpha bending fade into your flexi collage, and that's it. Now that you've got the basics, I'll leave you with inspiration for your next project. Have fun being creative. Mm -hmm.